ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang with Season 3 of K-Check. Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and see how far they'll go. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Game development student by day, visual artist at night. Sobas Dual Passions fuel a creative life. When not immersed in code or creating digital words, they can be found outdoors with a fantasy book in hand and a cup of coffee in the other. Si Ali Naman is a student of UP Diliman. He currently studies theater arts and loves to watch films in his free time. A few of his favorite films are La La Land, Bones and All, and Monster. Jed is a trans non-binary visual artist studying in UE Kaloocan who is interested in making character designs. Jed hopes to become a successful artist one day. Siri Naman is a visual artist based in Manila. An aspiring artist and student, she creates tales of emotion in her artwork. She also loves taking pictures, especially of nature. She enjoys expressing herself, which is why she tries out a lot of hobbies related to art. Parang exciting ang kichika natin later. Oo, at saka napaka-artistic yes. ng ating mga contestants today. That's right. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman, Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Next, we have Assistant Professor Marla Indriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bulinao, former, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one, contestants. In which sport may you watch Real Madrid face off with Manchester United at the UEFA Champions League? Uh, Ali. Football. Football or soccer is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. Which actor is the star of Guardians of the Galaxy and Jurassic World movies, as well as the lead character in 2024's The Garfield Movie? Soba. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What card game for four players has the same name as a structure that goes over a river? The structure that goes over a river is a bridge and is also the name of a four-player card game. Question number four. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a statue of a mythical creature with the head of a human and the body of what animal? Jed. A cat. Cat is incorrect. Reed. Dog. Dog is also incorrect. The Sphinx has the body of a lion. Question number five. In May 2024, the Lady Blazers scored their third consecutive women's volleyball title by beating Letran in the finals. What school do the Lady Blazers play for? Jed. Benilde. Benilde or CSB, College of St. Benilde is the correct answer. K. Chet. Are you a volleyball fan? Uh, I used to be a varsity fan. Oh, varsity player naman pala kasi. <laughs> Question number six. At standard pressure, what temperature does water boil on the Fahrenheit scale? Water boils on the Fahrenheit scale at 212 degrees. Question number seven this time, in what Olympic sport can the score be 40, 
15 after 4 points. This would be in the game of tennis. Question number 8. What important grain is grown in flooded fields called paddies? Soba. Rice. Rice is the correct answer. Kche. Napaka tentative magpress ng buzzers. Dito kasi sanay kami na halos nagigiba ang aming mga buzzers at mga stands jam. Question number 9. Admiral is a rank in which branch of the armed forces of the Philippines? The Admiral is in the Navy. In the Navy. It's also a popular song from the 80s. Question number 10. In quick math, what is twice the square root of 169? The correct answer is 26. Question number 11. What song by Lizzo won the 2023 Grammy Award for Record of the Year? Three. Juice. Juice is incorrect. Ali. About damn time. Well, about damn time is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. How many kilograms are there in one metric ton? There are 1,000 kilograms in one metric ton. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabi, for that round. So let's do a scores recap. In the lead, si Nasoba at si Ali with 20 points each, followed by Jed with 10 points, at si Ri naman, pwede pang humabol sa susunod nating mga round. So, Attorney, nandito na tayo sa favorite uh, segment natin kung saan mas kinikilala natin ang ating mga contestants. Ano nga ba ang round na yan? Ito ang... Okay, Chica. <laughs> Simulan natin kay Soba. So Soba, can you tell us more about the world of game development? Oh, um, it's definitely something that you need to have a passion for. Uh, it's actually very fun because you can combine art and coding at the same time, which is definitely why I chose game development. Coding. Coding. At mataas ang demand ngayon, no? Isa lang ang alam ko na coding. <laughs> Anong araw <laughs> <laughs> Anong araw ka, Tony? <laughs> Yan ang gusto sa'yo, mabilis kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Di, pero sobrang daming games kasi talaga, di ba? So, ibig sabihin parang marami kang accounts na hawak na ba yun? Uh, depends po on the person. Pero kung kaya niya naman po na madami, go! Fun. So, is this something you do for fun or is it actually a source of uh, income? Mm, more on fun, pero bonus na rin po kasi yung income, so... Bonus literally and figuratively. Hindi ko high paying dyan. Oo nga eh. <laughs> so ba na itong ayaw man libre? <laughs> so si Ali naman, bakit mo paborito yung mga pelikulang minention mo sa bio mo? Ano nga ba yung mga minention? Oh, La La, La, La Land was one of them. Uh, La La Land, Bones and All, and Monster. So I usually look for in a film, hindi yung ano, production design or yung acting, it's more of the, if the story really moves me. Like, kahit ka ano siya ka low, ang cliche niya pala. Pero like, kahit ka ano ka low budget yung film, basta lang ma-move ako while watching it. Uh, like, sure, favorite ko siya. Like, for example, yung monster, ano siya, pinanood ko siya sa coffee shop, tas I wasn't expecting it to be so moving. So, humahagulgul ako by the end of the film sa coffee shop. Tapos, pinagtitinginan ako ng mga tao. Tas yun lang po. Eh, yung sa end ng film ng La La Land, na-move ka nun. Opo, oh, hard na-move. <laughs> hard. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat, Soba and Ali. Parang masarap siyang kasama yes. sa sinihan. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Babalikan natin si Jed at si Re later. So, uh, mamaya, babalikan namin kayo. Kaya handaan nyo na yung mga sagutin nyo. Paghandaan muna natin ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng... Okay, check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. 
Diba? But after that first round, we have Soba and Ali with 20 points each, followed by Jed with 10, and Ri with a little bit of catching up to do. Atorni, tuloy na natin ang second part ng... Hey, Chica! Pero man, si Jed. Si Jed, sinabi niya sa kanyang bio kanina na siya isang trans non-binary. So, Jed, para sa iba, bago ang mga terms na ito. So, can you explain to our audience? So, first of all po, ang pagiging isang non-binary person po is falls under the trans umbrella. Kung baga, umbrella term po ang trans. So, ang non-binary person po, it doesn't reside only with one specific gender expression. Kung baga, I am comfortable with expressing myself both in my masculine side and my feminine side as well. So, ayun po. Happy Pride sa iyo, Jed, at sa lahat ng mga nasa community. But aside from that, Jed, no, uh, ang isa rin sa mga wish mo ay maging successful artist. So, paano mo ba na may measure yung success bilang isang artist? Oh, parang Miss Universe ko. <laughs> parang pageant question. Measure? Oh my God. Ano po? <laughs> I think, mamemeasure ko lang po siya once na nakikita ko na po yung kumbaga yung juices po ng mga ini-squeeze kong fruits, which are my art, and yung mga ginagawa ko po right now sa school and outside sa school. So, ayun po. Stay tuned, guys. Marami pong abang. <laughs> Banga natin yan. Parang masarap. <laughs> Nung batch na to. <laughs> Magkaroon pa ng discussion with Jed, no? Yes. Pero, we have such limited time. So, anyway, last but not least, we have Ri. What are your art-related hobbies na natry mo na so far and which do you think you will stick with in the long run? So, y ano po kasi yung course ko, Multimedia Arts. So, tinatry po yung mga iba-iba pong field. So, at this moment, tinatry ko po yung film, uh, yung photography din po. Tapos, nagpipaint din po ako. So, yung pinong feeling ko po, yung ma mas magsistick po ako, siguro po photography or graphic design. Laka rin demand sa graphic design, lalo ngayon. Di ba, mga work from home. Ang daming clients na pwedeng kunin. Share ko lang. Gusto ko rin, <laughs> gusto ko rin sana mag-graphic design. Lala nga kong talent. So, Kanda. it's a major stum stumbling block. Yes. Kung baga. <laughs> so, maraming salamat ulit sa ating mga contestants. Uh, we would want to have more discussions with you, but now it's time for round two. So mga contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize in this round. Kasi dito, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 oh. points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. In food, what vegetable is the main ingredient of sauerkraut, kimchi, and coleslaw? Ali. Cabbage. Cabbage is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. In what Asian country did the Boxer Rebellion take place in 1899 when natives tried to drive out all foreigners from their country? The correct answer is China. Question number three. At the start of a game of chess, there are 16 of what items? The correct answer is pawn. Maliliit na sa harap. Question number four. Which female singer of Firework fame left American Jed? Katy Perry. Let me proceed. Left American Idol after seven seasons as a judge. Correct answer is Katy Perry. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What do you call a speech or piece of text that is added to the end of, of a play or book, often giving a short statement about what happens to the characters in the future? The correct answer is epilogue. Question number six. What do you call the type of bridge with overhead cables supporting its roadway that can span longer distances than any other bridge form? Bridge form. The correct answer is suspension bridge. Question number seven. What do you call an offspring of a female horse and a male donkey 
that is used to represent stubbornness. The correct answer is mule. Nainom nyo na ba yun? <laughs> Question number eight. In physics, what is simply defined as the capacity for performing work? Jed. Energy. Energy is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In coordinate geometry, what do you call each of the four divisions of the coordinate plane bounded by the x and y axis. So ba? Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane is wrong. Anyone can see. The correct answer is quadrant. Question number 10. Taken from an old French word for hunger, what term refers to severe and prolonged hunger? in a substantial proportion of the population of a region or country? So ba? Famine po. Famine is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. GD is the worldwide economic downturn that began in 1929 and was the longest and most severe recession ever. What does GD stand for? The correct answer is Great Depression. Last question for this round, number 12. What is the surname of the politician who resigned as Senate President on May 20, 2024? The correct answer is Zubiri. And that's it for round two. Thank you, Jules, for that round. Tingnan natin ang mga scores ng mga contestants natin. Well, we have Jed in the lead with 50 points, followed by Ali with 40, Soba with 30, and Ri with a bit of catching up to do. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban, ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. K -check. And welcome back to K-Check. After that second round, we have Jed in the lead with 50, followed by Ali with 40 points, Sobo with 30, and Ri with a bit of catching up to do. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. Uh, mukhang very artistic ang ating mga contestants ngayon. Sana maka-perfect ako. <laughs> <laughs> May competition din kasi sila. Oo. Kung ilan masasagot. <laughs> okay. So, first question. In painting, the Renaissance and Mannerism gave way to an artistic movement characterized by high emotionality, deep colors, and dramatic lighting. What is this artistic movement called? A. Baroque B. Neoclassicism C. Realism D. Rococo E. Surrealism Three. A. Baroque um, The artistic movement, um, the major artistic movement after the Renaissance and Mannerism during the 17th and 18th centuries was the Baroque. Okay, check! Re, you made Prof. Sophie very happy. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Marila. Science naman. Which term refers to an icy, small, solar system body that warms and begins to release gases when passing close to the sun? A. Planet B. Asteroid C. Meteoroid D. Comet E. Star The 
correct answer is D. Comet. Thank you. Prof. Lou. Okay, world history naman. Who was the emperor that legalized Christianity within the Roman Empire? The choices are A. Hadrian B. Julius Caesar C. Theodosius D. Constantine E. Diocletian Constantine was the first Christian emperor legalizing and promoting Christianity within the Roman Empire. The correct answer is D. Constantine. Thank you. Next, uh, for the second round, Prof. Sophie. Okay. Um, in 2021, a digital artwork by Kevin Eric Raimundo, a.k.a. Tarantadong Kalbo, went viral, resulting in countless variations made by other artists and the general public. It later won the Japan Institute of Design Promotions Good Design Award 2022. What is the title of the work? A. Bumangon B. Makibaka C. Tumindig D. Re. C. Tumindig <laughs> um, I'll continue with the options D. Tumayo E. Yumoko The correct answer is C. Tumindig Okay, check! <laughs> Leading din si Prof. Sophie among our panel of yes. experts. <laughs> okay, thank you. Prof. Marla. What does the term heterochromia refer to? A. Eye color variation. B. Hair color change. C. Skin tone. J. A. Eye color variation. Let me finish reading the choices. C. Skin tone variation D. Ear shape difference E. Nose size change The correct answer is E. Eye color variation K. Check Back in the lead, si Jed. Yes, balik si Jed. At very supportive yung mga contestants dito sa bawat isa. <laughs> okay, yan. Prof. Lu. Okay, Philippine geography tayo. What Philippine region is the largest producer of coconut? A. Calabar Zone B. Bicol Region C. Eastern Visayas D. Davao Region E. Northern Mindanao Okay, wala yata mahilig sa buko Davao Region is the top coconut producer in the country with 487,000 metric tons or 15% of the total coconut production in the first quarter of 2023. The correct answer is D, Davao Region. So we're halfway done. Let's do a point recap, Attorney. Well, after that second round, Jed is in the lead now in, with 80 points, followed by Ri with 60. Ali with 40 and Soba with 30 points. Pero meron pa tayong 180 points at stake dito sa next two rounds natin. So, simulan na natin. Go for it, contestants. Prof. Sophie. Okay. <clears throat> the Manila Central Post Office, you know, the one that, you know, that suffered a fire last year, no? completed in 1928, was designed by Juan M. Arellano, Tomas Mapua, and Ralph Doan in what architectural style? A. Baroque B. Brutalist C. Neoclassical D. Victorian E. Art Deco okay. um, if you imagine the Manila Post Office, and it still looks the way it does, no, um, we can see the pillars, and those pillars actually reference classical Greek architecture, and so the architectural style of the Manila Post Office is neoclassical. Thank you, Prof. Marla. 
What is the female reproductive part of a flower? A. Stamen B. Anther C. Petal D. Pistil E. Sepal Oh, I'm sorry, but you're, you sounded the buzzer too late. The correct answer is D, Pistil. Thank you. Prof Lu. Okay, economic history tayo. Who was the chief economic planner during the Marcos Senior Administration? A, Jaime Ongpin. B, Felipe Medalia. C, Gerardo Sicat. D. Benito J. Ligarda E. Dennis Mapa He was appointed as chairman of the National Economic Council in 1970. He became the first director general of DANEDA. Dr. Gerardo Sicat served in this capacity until July 1981. The correct answer is Gerardo Sicat. And now we're off to our last round. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. The 2016 Disney movie, The Jungle Book, is based on stories by the author who also wrote the poem, The White Man's Burden. What is the writer's name? A. Lewis Carroll B. Charles Dickens C. Arthur Conan Doyle D. Rudyard Kipling E. George Orwell Well, um, your intro, it used to be that the intro to The Jungle Book would be Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book and he also wrote that um, poem supporting American expansion to the Philippines The White Man's Burden Thank you. Uh, Prof. Marla What environmental state do halophiles thrive in? A. High temperatures B. High pressure C. High salt D. High acidity E. High altitude The correct answer is C. High salt Thank you. Last question for this round, Prof. Lu. Okay, sports history. Baka naman. <laughs> What is the name of the computer which was the first to win a game of chess against a world champion? The choices are A. Deep Blue Letter B. Deep Thought Letter C. Alphago Letter D. Watson Letter E. Ethereal It was the first computer to defeat a reigning world chess champion in 1997. That was Garry Kasparov. Deep Blue was a chess playing expert system run on a unique purpose built IBM supercomputer. The correct answer is A, Deep Blue. And that's it for our K Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Jed, our K Check Daily Winner. With a final score of 80 points, we'll see them again on Friday when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. So maraming salamat din kay Soba, Ali, and Ri for joining us today. And of course, sa mga miyembro po ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Marla, and Professor Lu. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.